drinking a little too much. And I don't wanna feel how I felt before. Running back to you, I'm running back to you. And I don't wanna feel how I felt before. Running back to you, I'm running back to you. All right, hey y'all. So yeah, today I'm about to go ship out some orders that I just did or whatever. Um, as you guys know, I sold my hair for money, obviously. So yeah, so today I have two orders that's going out. One's going to California, one's going to Virginia. So I'm gonna show you them real the quick. The order, this is the first one. This one's going to California. I sold this one on my Poshmark. It's just um, a little U-part wig or whatever. And this is the second one right here. Can't show you the address, it's underneath. The second one, I used this Walmart box to package it in. This one's going to Virginia. Um, so yeah, so this one I actually made I sold it for 75 but with Poshmark, they have like mad fees and stuff, so I'm only gonna make like 60 but whatever, I have to go to Staples to print out the label, so that's where I gotta go today. And here, um, it's just gonna be regular post office, and I made only like $20, but it's only a synthetic wig, so I really don't care. I wanted to get rid of it, so yeah, that's about it. All right, so yeah, I have this shirt on that says good vibes only. I usually dress baggy, and I got these Adidas pants on or whatever when I go out like running errands, but you know, the less attention, the better. I live in New York, so. I don't feel like being bothered. But yeah, besides that, um, my room's a mess. Who cares? <laughs> so I'm about to call my lift because I got to be back here at a certain time by like around three o'clock or whatever. So I think it's 12 or one or something like that. So I've been getting ready for like the last 45 minutes just to go to the post office. Like who, who does that? But anyway, I'm about to leave. And when I get to um, Staples, I'll talk to you guys then. Staples. I'm about to go in here and do what I gotta do. So I'll call you when I call you. <laughs> I see you when I get out. After this, I gotta go to the post office and another lift and spend more money. I can't even breathe. I'm about to take my mask down. So I'm out to cross the street. See you on Dollar Tree. That's what I came in here for. My wigs for my wigs and stuff. Let me see. Let me see what they got. See what type of mailers I'm gonna get. These are type small. Can I put a wig in here? Probably can. Just get one of these. I don't know if they get this out front. Sorry if you can't hear me, I do a voiceover. Never. And I have one freaking taste on my life. 
All right, y'all, I'm finally out. I know y'all heard all the argument and everything like that. I gotta keep y'all close because I don't want y'all to see where I live. You know, I'm private or whatever. So anyways, um, the lady was like, the cashier or whatever at the window, he was Chinese. I never seen him there before because I always go there or whatever. And she was like, all she said was she wanted to send her package. Hold on, this music was way or whatever. And she was like, he just started going off on her saying like, oh, you cheap mother effer this and that get away from me of course you do like you know being racist he knows he's working in a predominantly minority area so why would you pick this area to work in you know that you know you're gonna be working with minorities bye, bye. so yeah she was going on and on and on yeah i saw the video or whatever yeah so she brought her husband in there if he was younger things would have went left like for real so they brought her in the back to the supervisor she's going on and on and on yelling and yelling yelling i'm shocked they didn't call the police because usually that's what they do but yeah, it's the first time I've ever seen that, um, like, happen in the post office. As much time as I went to the post office, I never experienced that. My dilemma is getting home, because I got a metro car, because we gotta pay for the bus now. This is a metro car, for you guys that don't know. And um, I'm at the finesse to drive and see if you let me on, because I don't got no cash, debit only, <laughs> and they only take metro cars. So yeah, and I gotta hurry up and get home before three. It's 2.15 right now, so. I don't live too far. So, yeah, that's all I want to tell you guys. Man, hot. Whew, I'm about to take this down and not breathe. Oh, I'm about to walk to this bus. I got one block to go. And I got to take two buses, but it's like literally three stops or whatever. So, yeah, I'm about to do that. And I'm going to see y'all when I get home to close out the block. My dad just missed two buses just now. I mean, sorry, matter of fact, three buses just now. So, I don't feel like running, so I'm lazy. <laughs> so I don't care. Oh my God, I'm about to miss a fourth bus. Let's see if I'm gonna make it. <laughs> what is this? This, is even a, this might not even be my bus. It is. I think I can make it, matter of fact. Might have to start running. <laughs> Let me see y'all when I get home. All right, I finessed the first bus driver, but the second one, um, I ain't even bother to bother. I'm just walking the rest of the way home. So yeah, I'm about to close out this vlog. Thank you so much for watching. Leave any more ideas down below. Got my mask off because nobody's around. And yeah, I'm about to go home, relax, do what I gotta do, then with this music. And I'll see y'all next time, bye. Bonus footage. Y'all remember the lady in the argument that just happened? She no lie lives on the corner of my block i just literally saw her and her husband that is a small world after all you know that's wild but anyway yeah see y'all in my next video